Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. My name is Muhammad Hir bin Hassan. Today I'm going to deliver a talk about contingency leadership theories and how uh, 21st century leaders can apply this theory into their leadership style. So first of all, let me introduce briefly about contingency leadership theory. So this theory uh, actually proposed that the leader's effectiveness is dependent on their leadership style according to particular situation or context. So 21st uh, century leaders, they should be able to examine um, and decide which particular uh, leadership style that are suitable to be used in certain context or situation. Uh, they should be able to, you know, show self-awareness. Um, they can be objective and they have to be adaptable to different situations. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus on two types of contingency leadership theory, uh, which are the situational leadership model and path goal model. So first of all, let's uh, begin with the situational leadership model uh, or also known as Hersey-Blanchard model. So this model focuses on the adaptability of the leaders uh, towards certain leadership style to match or to fit with the members' uh, characteristics and also their abilities. Okay, so this uh, situational leadership model, it focuses on the um, maturity level of the employees or the members. So there are four types of uh, leadership style that are used in this model, uh, which are directing, uh, coaching, supporting and delegating. For 21st century leaders, they can actually apply this situational leadership model uh, by looking at the uh, contact of the organization. If there is like a new uh, employee, for example, like a, a principal who actually has uh, a new teacher. So this principal can actually uh, be playing uh, his role as a coach. So, uh, you know, that uh, he or she can actually uh, give some professional um, courses to this new teacher so that uh, he or she can upskill, uh, you know, the teaching technique at school. And also, uh, not to forget that this principal can also provide uh, some support, um, you know, uh, to the needs of this new teacher, for example, like maybe emotional support and maybe like uh, some uh, necessity. Alright, now let's move on to the second uh, contingency leadership style, which is about the path goal model. So what this is model is about, it is actually primarily concerned on identifying the process or the path and all, uh, that will allow the uh, each member of the organization to meet their individual objective or the goals. Alright, so uh, this model is actually focuses on improving employees' motivation, uh, autonomy and also their satisfaction to increase their productivity all right so there are four different types of uh, leadership style in this model so first of all is the directive um, clarifying leaders uh, achievement oriented leader uh, participative leader and also supportive leader so for this uh, path goal model, the 21st century leader, they can actually uh, you know, show consideration uh, for employees' welfare. For example, if the employee or the team members are actually sick, so they can actually like, provide uh, sick leave, uh, they can actually like, provide the uh, panel, clinic panel for them uh, for the treatment and also for medication. So this is actually like really important, uh, you know, to take care of the welfare um, of this uh, employee. So they are to be taken care of and being appreciated. Uh, so overall, 21st century leaders, they can benefit from uh, this uh, situational leadership model because, you know, they can be flexible, situational aware and adaptive to, you know, a different context. Uh, this is really important so that they can maximize their leadership effectiveness and also to make sure that they drive the organization uh, success uh, towards uh, the goal that they want to achieve. 
So with that, I end my talk today with thank you for listening and I hope to see you again in the future. Bye.